everyone. Hi. Alright, so um this is day four and day five, I think. Yeah, day four and day five. <clears throat> so sorry I didn't post any videos yesterday. Um unfortunately Wednesday, Wednesday night I broke night. Because um, Thursday I was I'm, I was supposed to go to um, I was supposed to go to the hospital around 9 a.m. and I'm the type of person that don't wake up early, so I had to break night regardless. <laughs> That's why I don't work. You know, I don't work because I am a tough person to wake up in the morning. Very tough person to wake up in the morning. So I break night. And if I was to have a job and break night all the time, I'll be pretty much staying up all night and sleeping in the daytime all the time. Go figure, right? <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I had to wake up that, uh, Wednesday night. And, um, Thursday, Thursday I didn't make the video. But, well, Wednesday I posted the picture. Sorry I didn't make a video for Wednesday either. Um... I was really, really out of place. I made dinner late, and then time flew when my boyfriend came home, and then I forgot, I totally forgot to make the video. I'm like, I was all, all so out of place Wednesday. So um, Thursday, <clears throat> Thursday, the reason I didn't make the video is because I wasn't here since I broke night Wednesday. Um, so I'm doing this study on on this new vitamin D they're planning on bringing out, vitamin D pill that they're planning on bringing out. <clears throat> and since I'm taking medications, certain medication starts, you know, degrading your bones. So that will be great for me. So I'm doing that study. And my job was to not eat breakfast, okay, to not eat after 12. Wednesday. <laughs> you know how hard that was. I stood up all night and I couldn't eat nothing. And mind you, I was about to, I was this close, this close to eating something. But then I remembered right off the back, like, wait a minute, they told me I couldn't eat nothing after 12. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning. What am I doing, you know? So I had to distract myself one way or the other. I was watching TV Wednesday night, and um, I started feeling hungry, so I had to kind of switch my mind somewhere else. <laughs> so I had to trick my mind into thinking my body's not hungry. So I played this video game called Resident Evil Archives. I love horror games. That's one thing about me you got to learn. If, if, you, if you have horror games... I could be in there for like hours and hours on end. So um, for my boyfriend's birthday, July 19, I bought him two video games. I bought him um, football and Resident Evil, and I think that's about it. And um, so he wanted Resident Evil, and he knows I love horror games. I love mystery games. It's like, oh my God. <laughs> You know, it's like so different from movies. Like, yeah, you get scared from horror movies, but there's nothing like having that heart-pounding effect when you're playing a horror game. Oh, my goodness. So I played that the whole night Wednesday. And then I was, I got ready Thursday morning. I went. They told me not to eat breakfast. So I had to wait until they did whatever test they needed to do. So that way I can eat breakfast. And I didn't eat breakfast till 10.30. <clears throat> then um, after that, you know, then I had to wait a little bit till they told me I could leave. I didn't get home till 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I didn't have lunch. Breakfast filled me up to, <laughs> so good that I didn't even feel hungry for lunch. And then um, once I got home at 2, 2 p.m., I went straight to sleep. And I didn't wake up till 9 p.m. Um, then I just, you know, chilled a little bit with my boyfriend and 
stuff like that and we surf the internet then I got hungry so we ordered Chinese food I ordered the spirit tips with, with um, plantains and he ordered the boneless chicken with fried rice and I don't feel guilty I don't feel guilty for doing what I did you know I really didn't feel guilty I mean I didn't eat it till 11 o'clock I know <laughs> bad time and bad food I know I know but I don't feel guilty at all you know it didn't even fill me up to the point of me being loaded or anything it just felt good when I ate it so I don't feel guilty at all I really don't oh and um I know I said I was gonna weigh myself next week Monday um, but yesterday when I went to the hospital they weighed me that's their that's their routine um, and I weighed in at 189 pounds so you can imagine when I got off track last week you can imagine what weight I was in you know with the whole you know celebrating my boyfriend me and my boyfriend's anniversary and then celebrating his birthday like probably two three days later you know and I just started eating whatever I wasn't even thinking of I need to eat healthy type of thing so you can imagine what weight I was before Thursday. So I weighed in at 189. I know it seems like I'm never gonna get out the, the, the 80s, you know, but I'm really, really gonna start working hard starting Monday. I'm really going to. I'm planning on getting another cookbook because the biggest news I'm kind of tired of having the same meals each day. <laughs> You know, they have like different other ones, different other foods and stuff like that. But it's like, I don't have the ingredients for those. So it, it's kind of tough trying to cook different things. And I don't like fish. You know, I don't even like salmon unless somebody else cooks it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not a fish type of person. The only, the only fish I would have is tuna. And that's about it. <laughs> You know, but I'm not a fish person. I I don't like fish like that. Unless somebody else knows how to cook it, then I'll eat it, you know. But I don't like fish like that. That's why I was um, asking my doctor if I can um, if I can get omega-3s or something, like a pill, you know. Because they say it's better to get a prescription from a doctor than just buying it over the counter. So... But my doctor said, you don't, you don't need omega-3s right now. I mean, it would be a good idea, but you don't need it right now. I'm like, okay, whatever. <laughs> um, so I just buy tuna, and that's it. You know, that's it. So I want to get another cookbook so that way I can be more, um, be more creative in the kitchen. Don't get me wrong. The Biggest Loser has very good meals especially the pasta oh my god but I wanna you know I wanna expand my horizons in the kitchen so we'll see what happens alright so this is like I said this is day four and day five of my 30 day challenge oh and as for my water intake yesterday I didn't have much water I just had five glasses of water so I didn't really reach my um, my goal yesterday but um, today is a new day. Today is a totally new day. Um, so I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow for day six. Bye.